What's going on guys? Jason from HOJ Forge. Here's video number one in making a hydraulic forge press. So this is video number one. It's going to be kind of an overview and a little bit of my plan as to what I want to do uh, in building this and we're going to unbox the thing. It was waiting for me when I got home from work. Look at this. So look what was waiting for me when I got home from the radio station today. That my friends is going to be a forge press. If you're looking for more of a, a how to teaching every little measurement every little piece you want the measurement on and where I put it and where I weld it and how I redesign every little thing then you're gonna want to click on the link in the description below for my patreons patrons for as little as a dollar a month although you can do more there's you know if you want to support me that way uh, but for as little as a dollar a month you get all of that stuff um, there's more how-to there's bonus footage and things like that and some special patron giveaways but uh, this one on YouTube should be enough to get you going um, if you don't want to spend a buck a month and hopefully this will help you out I guess we'll find out in the end whether it works good or bad you're coming along for the ride and we'll see what happens let's get going this is an AVIX model AGT 306. It was uh, 215 bucks, something like that, on Amazon. And uh, I can put a link in the description. But uh, let's get this thing unboxed and get her plugged in and make sure she works before we start taking it apart so we can make it work in different ways. So my super early observations. Um, one, I'm glad the wheels aren't on because I was going to take them off anyways. Uh, two, on this particular model it's got these tubes which are just going to be in the way of what I want to do. And I'm thinking if I unbolt them from these little brackets here and here, unbolt them here and just turn it so that this actually becomes the leg rather than that. It'll raise this end up to where I want it, and then I've got some, uh, well, it's an old bed frame, but it's all angle iron. And I'm going to use that to make a little frame for this other side. And there we go. Um, right now, it is filled with hydraulic fluid, supposedly. I will double check that from the factory. And I think I should fire this up and see if we can crush something. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? So I've got her plugged into uh, a nice heavy-duty extension cord, same one I run my welder on. I don't have any logs right this second, but I do have this hunk of maple, and it'll at least tell me how this thing is running. I know it'll split as long as it's running and doing well. It'll it'll do good. So this is the inaugural test to see how fast. We can get this thing a moving. Let's see. So, two handed operation right now. That's going to be changing to a one foot operation, but let's see what we got. You know, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but I do think. It will uh, it'll do what it needs to do. So there we go, guys. It works. It splits wood. It turns on. It turns off. It does exactly what it's supposed to do at this point. I've got some things that I need to use to put it all together. I've got a big old steel tube. I got some steel I bought from the steel supplier to make the dies with. I've got two different kinds of switches that I'm going to have to incorporate into using the lever. I'm going to have to incorporate one of them. I'm going to have to experiment and see which one I think will work better so that I can go from a two-hand operation to a no-hand operation but a one-foot operation for uh, pressing the lever and activating the switch at the same time. 
that'll take some experimentation. And then about 20 bucks at the hardware store and some nuts and bolts, uh, a new drill bit, and uh, some cutoff wheels because I was running a little short. About 20 bucks there. All said and told, I'm in this for $275 and the rest of the steel for the frame to lift the one end up and to to do everything I need to do is gonna come from my scrap pile. I've got a bed frame which is basically just angle iron for the frame and you know I'll, I'll raid the scrap pile to find the rest of the stuff so $275 if I can keep it under 300 I will be happy because even if it doesn't work in the end of it I've got a log splitter but there we go. So that's just the overview. Uh, video number two will be coming real soon and that's when I'm gonna start laying out the build for this thing and trying to figure out exactly how to do it. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos on any of my other builds, you know I don't plan ahead real well. I'm pretty notorious for saying, let's just make it up as I go along. On this one, I kind of wanted to plan ahead so that I wasn't doing that. But we all know who I am and it will probably be making it up as I go along. So we'll see. Uh, video number two is coming and we'll start getting this thing put together. Like I say, at the end of it all, if it doesn't work, at least I got a pretty cool log splitter, which will come in kind of handy around here.